Today we are back playing some more Starfield and I have finally joined the Crimson Fleet. We changed directions. I was going to join the Vanguard during this playthrough in New Game Plus 2, but I decided to just, you know what, we're going to join the Crimson Fleet because I have a special companion so that doesn't I care am. about any this choices that I make. Uh, it looks like this guy chokes. wants to tell me and you know what I find back their there? lice. The fattest leech I've ever seen. Well, nearly got me dusted. Wow, amazing. But anyways, uh, we just got back from the lock. Um, right now we're inside the key. It's kind of cool. The key is apparently a UC star base that used to be owned by them. Now uh, we went with Delgado, who's the leader of the Crimson Fleet, down to the lock. Um, we found out some information about the previous leader guy uh and he is not sticking around so or we haven't found him at least um so now we're currently searching around and looking to see if we can uh find this the previous guy or the first one we just returned back to the key so we're gonna go talk to delgado and see what's uh what's next on our to-do list nothing like the smell of a dead shark Have so here we go What's up, Breeze? What's up, Adrian? Not a lick of breathable air out here. Good morning. Good morning. Man, I'm still amazed with how well put together this place is. Like, they have uh, a lot of these vendors here. I don't know why, but for some reason, they just remind me of Metro. Because in the Metro games, they're like this, too. They're, like, right across from each other, and they're little shacks right like this. Gear can make all the difference. Let's see and what now, they actually have. Take maybe, a look at what you have. Let's get you set up. Yeah, let's do it. So he only has that. He does have a bunch of spacesuits, though. Okay. Pirate assault spacesuit. Some of these are cool. The Corsair one, I, I think is. Yeah, that looks sick. I wish there was like a. I, I really do wish that there was some sort of transmog system in here. That would be cool, um, but I don't think there is at the moment. I could equip my other guy with uh, these. That, uh, yeah, I really like the superior one. That superior helmet looks sick. This one to the pirate assault space. Oh, it's pretty cool too. There is a pirate crew outfit, but it's not. You'd think that this would be red and have like stuff. But I, I, this is the same as like the flight suit anywhere else you go. So I don't think there's anything like really that special with it. I'll pick up the med kits though. I am here if you need me. Weapons, ammo, mods, what kind of weapons you got? You need. Let's well, check it out. Well. Neva's new hotshot. <laughs> I knew you'd find your way back to my little corner of the key. Everyone always does. Let's skip the intro. I'm just here to buy. <laughs> hey, if you want to pour credits into my pocket, you won't hear any arguments from me. I wish that worked I for everyone. Yo, what's up, hardware. Wolverine? How you got? How you doing? Genetics, electromags, energy, even a few explosives. Occasionally, I stock a few smuggled items. Basically, the stuff Sysdev doesn't want you to play with. Just oh. don't screw me over, or I'll be inclined to give you a free demo. With your head as the target. Oh boy. Let me guess, trust issues. Oh, we all have trust issues here. A little advice, Sadiqui? The fleet's trust can't be bought. You earn it. You bleed for the fleet, the fleet bleeds for you. Pure and simple. Anyone who says otherwise is either lying or getting ready to stab you in the back. I understand. Well, that was surprisingly easy. <laughs> Most people just glaze over and learn the hard way. Maybe there's more to you than I thought. All right, I'm interested. I feel like I've heard more from her than I did any Whatever other vendors you need. so far. As long as you can afford it. 
doing good. Game looks good. Yeah, it's it's been a lot of fun. Um, like I was, it's still crazy how how much I've actually grown to like really enjoy this game. The thing is, like I don't know when I'm gonna stop yet. <laughs> like I'm I'm getting up there. Damn, that's sick. What? I mean, it doesn't do great damage, but each wait, well, hold up, hold up. Each consecutive hit deals more damage. Um, it's twenty nine thousand though. Yeah, that fury is sick though. Oh my god, I'm picking that up. I don't care. Twenty nine thousand. I'll make that back. Uh, yeah, I did a video on uh, some changes that I did, Adrian. Um, there's a video called things are changing i decided to switch things up and uh turn off the cam at least for now to make some other content and stuff like with videos and streams so um this shotgun's not too bad either how much is it though 13k i, I probably have a few weapons i can sell back to her <clears throat> let me actually check 200 so yeah i could actually pick that gun up and it's gonna be a lot better than most of the stuff i have here right now because a lot of these do like 130 damage i love how we just found this too or we we are just given that one for the mission quest the explosive calibrated micro gun that's wild it doesn't do a lot of damage, but it deals double damage when bashing. Uh, 25 increase in attack speed randomly switches to explosive rounds. I kind of want to try that. <laughs> I kind of want to try that, actually. Let's get rid of one more gun here. Uh, actually, I, I think we're early on enough where we should be okay. Space suit. Oh, we can get rid of these, though. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Get rid of that. Helmets. We got a few here, too. And then we have some resources. You know what? I'll get rid of them. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't sell those. Oof. I swear, I don't pick up these spoons and stuff, but somehow we pick them up. I don't get it. So all the books. All right, actually, it meant to go back I to for inventory again. Let's buy. Does she have ammo? Wow, she has weapons, but she doesn't have ammo. Two eighty four. If I pick this up, though, it's gonna last for a while. So we'll get that. All right. See you around. See you around. Alright, let's uh go ahead and favorite some of these weapons now. Put this guy into number two. Then let's go three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh Nova Disruptor we don't need right this second. The Fury though. I'll put on nine. Oh man. I could put this one on too, though. I wouldn't mind trying to use this. The explosive micro gun. I think that would be pretty cool. General goods. I don't... All right. Do they have any? Yes. A baguette. Would you like a, a baguette? Uh, do they have any? No, really, no like med packs or anything like that. Med kits, they have milk packs, but no med kits. They also have ship parts. Nah, we're good. Oh, bye, I guess. Bye, I guess. Hey, thank you guys for the follow so far on uh, TikTok. If it's hard to find, my prices may be high, but <laughs> now you're speaking my language. All right, she's got ammo. You know what? I'll pick up all the ammo you got. Apparel. Oh, these are uh yeah, it's always it's always confusing. It's actually the neuro boost goes onto your face, but they help you with like 
investigation, diplomacy, inst or no, instigation. That's what it is. I'm going to get this 15% instigation chance. That actually sounds awesome. Especially since I'm trying to use those more in combat now. Miscellaneous. Okay. I think we're good here, but... Power beat. I could give my companion a better rifle. Actually, now that I think about that, maybe I'm going to... I might give him this. I think the one that he has right now, I wish I could see it. How much is this? 12k? Um, hmm. Maybe I'll hold off. I think his current scared. weapon does okay. or myself <laughs> give myself this. What does my current weapon do? I could give him this thing. The mag shot. 195. Let's see. What's on the agenda today? My pack has plenty of room to spare. Uh, do you keep inventory when starting New Game Plus? Nah, unfortunately, you do not. All right, yeah, we're going to give him a new gun. Give him something that does more damage. Like the. I think I'm going to give him the advanced mag shot. Instead of me having that, he can have that. And let's give him some ammo for that. I think it was... Oh, shoot. 195. 43 MI. Yeah, when you go into New Game Plus, you pretty much lose out on everything. Uh, that you have. Inventory. Um, pretty much everything. What do you get with New Game Plus? You get a new suit, a new ship, and I'll new dialogue options. Oh shoot! I forgot to equip him with it. Anything I can do to help? Sure, I'll hold on to that. I've done two main story playthroughs so far, and right now we're on the third one. And you also keep your abilities and stuff. Does he have any grenades? Yes, uh, he does have one. I have it equipped too. So he started using them in the last combat scenario we were in, which is nice. All right, I'm going to have him equip that and we should be good now. Let's see if he actually pulls it out. See you later. Yep. There it is. Nice. Okay. We are all set. All right. Let's make our way over Always to ask for a bigger cut. It's all about Delgado. Be sure you have the proper shielding for any... Which way do I have to go? All oh, right, We have to go up the elevator, I think. Operations center. Here we go. Man, uh, last time this Matthias guy, he was trying to get me to kill him this entire time. There you are. The hell took you so long? It's about time. I was about to fly down and loot your bodies. Not now, neighbor. Yeah, they do use well, the weapons and the spacesuits you, you, you give something. them as long and as you over. equip it in their inventory. So when you go into their inventory after you give it to them, you'll see a, an a button or a key bind or something that'll say equip, and then it'll show that it, they equip that. Um, you have to give them at least one ammunition of the weapon type that you give them to. So if you find like a legendary gun, you're not using it and it does pretty good or like you keep running out of ammo for it, you might as well just give it to them. Give them like 10. I, I usually give them like 10 ammo just to be safe. Uh, I think one works, but I usually give them like five to 10 and then they continue to use that gun and they'll just like rapid fire that thing. So it's it's pretty nice. Here you, you go. Start. That's it. Just one slate. After losing so much of our crew, it better be a map with a big red X on it. Well, I'll be damned. Legacy was Yo, a master the best quest line it's the in the name game. of an actual ship, a gal bank transport, probably loaded with credits. Never heard any stories about a gal bank ship going down. And even if it had happened, it would have been picked clean years ago. No, neighbor. Think. If Galbank covered it up, and over time, the location was eventually forgotten, it wouldn't be on anyone's radar. Okay. 
This changes things. Now that we know what we are looking for, we have to narrow the search. We don't have much to go on. Well, that is not necessarily true. Let us start with what we know. It was a Galbag ship, which means the company is going to have records of where it went down. Neva, weren't you working on a deal with Rokov? Something about a big wig charity event on one of Trident Starliners? Are you serious? I've been working on that gig for three months. That's my score. Ay Dios mío, will you shut up about your score and think for a second? That Starliner has a Galbank VIP suite <laughs> aboard, which means... Jeez. Come on, Neva. This isn't hard. Which means a Galbank exec will be aboard. We grab their <laughs> credentials and get ourselves into the Galbank archives in New Atlantis. Holy shit, that might actually work. <laughs> I'll send a message to Rokov right away. Pack your bags, Rook. You're going on vacation. And since you've earned it, take this gun with you. Might come in handy when Rokov screws everything up as usual. Hey, a legendary pistol. Okay. Hey, not too bad. Okay. Uh, always wanted to take a deep space cruise. Good, because that is exactly what you are going to be doing. Neva and I are too well known to walk around the Starliner without being recognized. If Trident Security spotted us, it'd be over. I need you to board that ship, make contact with Rokov, and get me those credentials. I'll get it done. You'd better. Yo, you oh, can chill. Before you leave, I wanted you I to know that I was successful the first mission. Mathis into consideration. And I've decided to cut him from the fleet. Oh. Honestly, I'm surprised he made it off Suvarov in one piece. I was mistaken about that. Nah, I think you made the right decision. We'll see. That's it then. Next stop for you is Rokov Starliner, the Siren of the Stars. And remember. Rokov does not need to know anything about Grixis' legacy. For now, it's just between us. Now get out of here. Hey, Rook, before you head out, I need to have a word with you. Meet me at the last Nova after you wrap things up with Mathis. Okay. Speak with head Mathis? Wait, is Mathis he? Look. Wait, where head is he? Oh, God. I thought he... he said, like, you're you're I gone. So Is he in like prison? No way. Uh, try following this. Need a drink. Bug at the last Bar? Oh, he's in the bar. Wait, he, so he's still allowed on the ship right now? Oh, so he cut him from the fleet, but he's still on the ship. Interesting. Cut. Hey. I want to talk to you. So. Thanks to you, Delgado's cut me from the fleet. Well, you know what? You better get your own fleet. Because I'm coming after you. <laughs> Would you have preferred I told Delgado about your little plot to kill him? Oh, I see. You think you're some kind of big shot, is that it? I'm gonna show poor Mathis a little mercy now that you're Delgado's best buddy, yeah? Well, guess what? Your generosity is getting me kicked off the key. And that means you better watch your back. You're trying to blackmail me. That's not going to work. No, I'm not going to try and talk you into handing me over all your hard earned credits. I'm going to take them off your smoldering corpse. Now get the hell out of me way. You can try. Go ahead. Try it. Oh, man. Need something? Maybe. We haven't decided. What the hell are you doing? Well, it's just... We were thinking. Why is it every time we go out and do a 
Wait, yeah. can you actually hire you. people from here too? I hope Bug has something crits. strong enough to knock me out. My friend's got a point, Bug. Too many missions. Every oh, this guy has a name. The fleet's the only family you need. Seems to me instead of there you are. All right, look. I've been lining up a score nice with that asshole thank Rogue you, thank you. on the Siren of the Stars for months. I'm not about to let a payday slip through my fingers. So guess what? You're gonna finish the job for me. As long as I get my cut. Of course you'll get a cut. That's how everything works around here. Why would this be any different? All right, I'm just making Roll sure that's the first time I mentioned me getting paid. Kind of bullshit charity event that the Siren of the Stars is hosting. At the event, they're gonna give away something called the Earth Savior Award, which is worth tens of thousands of credits. So it's simple. While you're on the Siren, swiping those Galvin but is that credentials, a I want you to grab I have to that look at that after this. and bring it to me. I... Uh... How is an award worth so much money? From the pictures I've seen, the award is set with 12 blue diamonds and covered in gold filigree. Damn. If I get Jazz to take it apart, I can turn it into a hell of a lot of cash. And best of all, the components become untraceable. I don't like taking unnecessary risks. Then why the hell are you here? Sorry, we you, take unnecessary fair. risks every day. Okay, that's fair. That's what being a pirate is all about. That's uh, yeah. She Look, makes a good make point there. you can make all the jokes and excuses you want, but if you don't come back with the ES award, I'm gonna deduct it from your pay. Yeah. Okay. Either way, I get my money. How much you walk away with is in your own hands. Got it? We'll see what Delgado says about that threat. Yeah. And who do you think Delgado's gonna back in a dispute? You, over me. Please. All right, Rook, we're done here. Now, get your ass to the siren and bring me my goods. Okay. We'll talk later. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah. Oh, nice. Ballistic weapons do an additional 5% more critical damage. Love that. Food around here is what you'd expect. Oh, okay, I'm stuck. Come on. You hungry? Because that would be two of us. What? <laughs> I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Because that makes two up. of us. <laughs> I think it's time to put on our suits. You think? Here? Right now? Piracy, okay. Eh. Those are alright. Wait, are they different on the Saint? Are they different? Polvo? Does this one say Polvo too? Oh yeah, it is. Same thing. Report mission progress on the UC Always Vigilance. Man, I hate having to go back. It might kick me out. Uh, for this one, I am going to actually side with the Crimson Fleet. When I do, um, when I do Sistep, I, I want to do it, like, what with Sarah. Wait, what happened to my ship? Oh, I have this ship now, too? Ah, oh, shoot, I can't jump. I can't jump this far. Oh no. Um is there a place wait, do they have a do they have a repair person here? Do not do any of those missions with constellation on board, they would get pissed. Yeah, I mean luckily right now I don't have any constellation members on board. If they have a, a ship repair person that I can swap out my ship, but I don't know where they're at. Are you looking to start something? Cause I'll finish it. Where is, do they have one? Got mixed feelings about my last job. 
on the one hand, lost I don't know if they do though. But on the other hand, it seems like they might not. Oh, it's in the next room? Oh. Go into the key? Oh, and then to the left? Okay. I figured they would be right here. I didn't think that they were going to be, like, right inside. Inside, inside, you. here. I got secret compartments on my ship. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Ship services. Nice. So, looks like we got ourselves a new rook. Yes, you Once do. again, I'm Jazz, resident engineer here. Like Neva said, you need ship parts, repairs? I'll hook you up. As long as your credits are good. I hope the fleet has wider variety than UC and Freestar Collective. It may not be wider, but it's not on the books if that's what you're getting at. I can guarantee your ship will be in good hands. So if you're looking for an upgrade, let me know. We got the best selection in the settled systems. Illegal, unregistered, recalled. We sell it all. No questions asked. All right, let's do it. I uh, always looking for an edge. Anything that keeps the UC and Free Star Rangers off your tail is a must have in my book. Just let me know when you want to talk business. Uh, mind helping me with my ship? No, but just remember, I don't work for free. Okay. I like to view and modify my ships. There sure, we sure. go. Let me punch that up and we can have at it. That's what I needed right there. Ships it, yeah, so we just got the UC shuttle. Ah, uh, shit, wow, crew capacity is one. Yeah, we're gonna switch back to this one for now because being able to, to jump across the galaxy is just too nice. You see, will never crush the fleet. Until we, we find or, or buy a better ship, that is. What kind of name is Sysdef anyway? <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Not bad. Yeah, I kind of wish I, I rejected the offer um, for when I tried to, to join. I accepted the offer. I think if you reject the offer for to join the fleet, um, I mean to join uh, Sysdef or UC, then you probably just get thrown in jail and then you can find somebody to join instead. But oh well. Oh god, too fast, too fast. Slow it down. Oh my god, I was still taking a drink. <laughs> they do the same thing when you join the um, uh, the other one. I forget what it's called. Uh, when you go to the key, I mean. It like speed races to the front. United Colony System Defense at your service. Heard you boarded the key. I can't oh boy. Yo, back. So how did it go? Uh, okay. Um. I've successfully inf infiltrated the Crimson Fleet, but I'm having second thoughts. I'm through with this. Ooh, here we go. I'm through with this charade and I'm one out. Excuse me. I don't remember you having much of a choice, Nimata. You committed a crime and we gave you a second chance. Don't throw it all away. Dude, I, I, I understand stole one that you are under a lot of pressure. Desk fan. But I'm afraid there is no turning back. That being said, I believe you should be proud of what you've accomplished. I was certain we'd fool Delgado, but never. She's a sharp one. Overcoming her scrutiny is no small matter. 
Did you discover anything worth reporting yet? Are you sure it's safe if I pass you this info? I understand your concern, but you can rest assured that every member of this crew has been thoroughly vetted by I'm trying to weasel and myself Lieutenant out of Dorf. this. Any information <laughs> Did I hear that my you cousin? Yeah, we got be leaving this ship until it's fully my two dogs are and in good. Uh, playing together right now. I'll give you my word. Also, it's up, Prince. Oh, dude, I don't want to tell him. Delgado is searching for Galbank's ship named the Legacy that was carrying some type of lost fortune. Legacy. Why does that sound familiar? Wait a moment. Are you telling me Delgado may have actually located Crix's legacy? No. I suppose it's possible, sir. Intelligence picked up a bit of chatter on that subject recently. We assumed it was some sort of tall tale or a story to attract recruits to their cause. Story or not, Delgado believes it's real. Well, let's find out if Delgado is chasing ghosts, or he's smarter than we suspect. Let me see what we have here. Nope. There are no records of a gal bank transport named the Legacy in the database. <laughs> I think Delgado's trying to manipulate you. What do okay. you think, sir? Good, good. I think there's no record because gal bank is hiding something. Delgado's no fool. If he risked his own neck to get that information, he must be on to something. We have to take this seriously. What's your next move? Supposed to board a Starliner to steal Galbank archive credentials. Clever, Delgado. Very clever. If I were in your place, I'd be trying to do the exact same thing. We can't let Delgado get his hands on what could potentially turn out to be the largest haul of credits the Crimson Fleet's ever seen. Maybe I should head out to New Atlantis, sir. I could press the Galbank execs for information. Get ahead of everything. No. Let's allow this to run its course. We have our agent here feeding us information. I think that's good enough for now. There's more to this than just finding the location of the transport. Jasper Crix was clever. For some reason, he never got there. I'll proceed as planned then. It's imperative Dude, I'm stuck. that you do. If the Crimson <laughs> Fleet gets its hands on a transport full of currency, it would be disastrous for the settled systems. I wish when I you left. I need you to do whatever you can to bring us more information. And for God's sake, don't kill anyone on that Starliner. You're both dismissed. Hi. I, I wish when you left, you were able to just like not have to return back here. Based on your actions, but oh well, because I I do want to uh, at some point do a run where I actually help them and everything. Um. Hey. But I wouldn't do that with Sarah right now. I have a companion that doesn't care because it's myself, and he's just blindly following me. <laughs> so. He doesn't care if I actually join them or if I do bad stuff. He's the good version. I'm the evil version. The evil Starborn version of myself. <laughs> Arcane? Alright, we need to get over here. Or, no, Aran. I thought it said Arcane. Yo, what's up, man? Yeah, I, I did see the, uh, the note about there was a, a guy that had, like, lung cancer. I saw that pop up on the uh, subreddit a few days after the game release. That's pretty cool, though, that they, like, put that detail in. You know, I before stream, I played with my dogs for, like, 30 minutes to, like, get energy out, and they're still going now, and it's been for another 35. And I saw, I sorry, I saw a message earlier. What kind? I have a German Shepherd Husky and a uh, Corgi. Distilled water. Yeah, this is the kind of stuff that I stole and I got <laughs> thrown into jail for. Yeah, like a sandwich. 
I, I literally stole a desk fan. They're like, oh, you stole a desk fan. You gotta have to, you gotta sacrifice yourself well, to join you the key up. now. All right, I want to know what's going on. I've been trying to get Delgado's attention for, oh, I don't know, three years now. And what do I get? Nothing but radio silence. Then out of nowhere, just when Neva and I are closing in on a huge score of our own, Delgado orders me to help you out. Yo! Master Sandwich, thank you for subbing with Prime, man. For nine months. Thank you very much. I appreciate the support. Also, thank you guys for the follow so far. Regardless of what platform you're on, I appreciate all that as well. And thank you for those of you that are lurking here. Thank you very much, man. Woo! <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm just following Delgado's orders. Yeah, I figured you'd say something like that. Just another one of Delgado's loyal little soldiers, huh? Fine. Have it your way. So Neva's message said you were here for Dombrowski. Was that all she sent you here to do? Or was there something else you were sent here to steal? Uh... Nope, that's the only reason I'm here. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so why are you targeting Gaul Bank exec anyway? Not exactly your average Crimson Fleet prey. Why the interest? Wonder all you want. That's the information you're getting. Oh, I see. We're playing this game now. Fine, fine. Well, you might as well turn around and hop back aboard your ship because you're not getting near Dombrowski without my help. I'm sure the fleet can slide some credits your way. Oh, no. No, no, no. Delgado isn't gonna drop a credit stick on the table and be done with it. I don't want money. I want back into the Crimson Fleet. It's as simple as that. Hmm. I can actually say that. You're in no position to make demands right now. Just do as you're told. I can put in word with Delgado, but it's up to him to pull the trigger. That's a disturbing way to put it. <laughs> but I suppose that's the best offer I'm going to get, so I'll take it. All right. Dombrowski's we'll a full-timer aboard the Siren of the Stars. Probably spends more time cruising the space lanes than actually working. Fortunately, the Siren is hosting the Tehran Preservation Society charity gala. Larry won't be able to resist showing off his VIP clout. To get what you need... You're going to have to attend the gala, talk to his fellow philanthropists, and dig up some dirt. I didn't bring my dinner jacket. <laughs> yeah, well, lucky for you, it's not black tie, so you'll be fine. This card will allow you to access the Starview Ballroom. If you need my help, I'll be relaxing in one of the upper level lounges. Head inside and mingle with the crowd. No one likes Dombrowski, so they'll be more than happy to share his dirty secrets. Long as there's free brews. Now you're speaking my language. Oh, there's one last thing. Dryden equips all of their Starliners with the latest acoustic threat detection. Meaning that you lose patience and kill anyone aboard the ship. Security will be alerted, and all hell will break loose. Anyway, I suppose that's enough to get you started. Good luck. Okay. Optional discover location of the reward. Uh, do you know anything about the Earth Savior Award? What the hell? When I asked you earlier, you said you weren't <laughs> here for anything else. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just asking. Not only did you lie to me, but now you're telling me that she sent what? you after the award alone? Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not here for anything but those credentials. 
Yeah? And I suppose it's just a, a coincidence you happen to be asking me about the very thing Neva and I agreed to steal together. Oh, great. I can't believe she's trying to cut me out of this deal. Without me, the award never would have ended up here in the first place. What was the original plan you had with Neva? I spent months manipulating the Duran Preservation Society to hosting the Gata Affair board, the Siren of the Stars. I had to arrange the event to make sure that the award was aboard the ship. Neva said she'd do the rest. When I got a message about Dubrovsky, I assumed she'd be tagging along to steal the award. But looks like uh, she said you in her place. Ah, okay. Don't worry, you're still gonna get paid. Yeah? Funny you're only bringing that up now. Fine, I'll help. But you're doing all the legwork. And I'm still taking my cut of the payout. Alright, that's so tell fair. tell me, what's the status of your plan? I've just gotten started. Okay. Then let me point you to the person in charge of the award. Her name's Sheila Holbrook, and you can probably find her in the Starview Ballroom. I'd press her to reveal where the award's hidden, and we can go from there. And if you're thinking of pulling the trigger on poor Miss Holbrook... Remember that any gunfire yes, I is going to set off the ship's alarms. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Oh, and while you're at the gala, avoid the canopies. They're frozen, not fresh. All right. There is nothing quite like the view from the Starview Ballroom. It's breathtaking. Get in there. Every day that I wake up in my boat, I count my Let's follow this and make sure we're going the right way. Damn, they really let me sneak into this place. <laughs> the Starview Ballroom. Here we are. Space cargo wear. What does that look like? Uh, it's actually kind of cool. That's all right. Eh. A Starview pass is required to enter the main ballroom. Uh, do you have one? Oh, I have one. Nice. I'm sorry, but unless you're reporting a security situation, I need to get back to my duties. Hey, no worries. No worries. Okay. Ask patrons about the... Uh, Larry Jombrowski, optional, kill him, and speak to Sheila about the ES reward. This is Sheila right here. Damn, this is a nice place. Quite a lovely Starliner. Nothing but the best for the society, eh? Yeah. An open bar would have been nice. Society patron. The Trident's gouging us for the credit we got. Here for business or pleasure? Do you know anything about Larry Jum Jum Dombrowski? His behavior towards women is abominable. That man really ought to be ashamed of himself. Okay. Don't forget to donate to the cause. That wasn't very helpful, but that's okay. All right, let's talk to Is this important? I don't have a lot of time for idle nonsense. Oh, of course you don't. Yes. I'm extremely busy preparing for the award ceremony, so this better be important. When will the award ceremony occur? Probably in a few days. I don't want the award transfer to actually occur until we're safely in orbit at our destination. Of course, if I keep getting interrupted, the ceremony might never take place at all. Wow. I heard you're in charge of the Earth uh, Savior Award. Yes, I am. Actually, I've been entrusted with the transfer of the award for the last seven of its nine years. Whoa. Why do you ask? Uh, I feel like none of these <laughs> has the award ever been stolen. I should. I cannot look. 
It just gives away, like, oh, surely nothing will happen by letting me, a civilian, looking at this reward just out of kindness. You must be nervous keeping something not so valuable in your cabin. In my cabin? Oh, please. Why would I do something so foolish? I'll have you know that the award is locked inside the master safe, located at the purser's <laughs> office. Now, if oh. you'll excuse me, I have much more important things on my agenda than to speak to the likes of you. Wow. You know what? That is just unbelievable. Please remain in designated passenger areas at all times. Okay. We're planning to... Is guest services? Trident? Discover how to access the pursuer's safe. Let's try talking. Uh, due to guy. an unfortunate accident, we're halting our spacewalk experience for an indeterminate amount of time. We have a range of excursions available at all of our destinations. Wow. All the details this place are is nice. Cabin. This is cool. Wow, this is easy to get into. <laughs> the door just opens. Trident Luxury Lines, I'd like to welcome you aboard. Welcome to the purser's office. I'm Chief Purser Murata. How can I be of assistance today? Um, well... Can I store things with confidence in your safe? Oh, absolutely. The safe is magnetically sealed and shielded with multiple layers of fully damaged No, I never did this mission on my other playthroughs. Plating. In an unlikely event, our vessel is boarded and the threat detection alarm is triggered. The safe will be permanently sealed until it reaches port. In the even more unlikely event, this ship is destroyed. We can assure you that your loved ones will be able to recover your goods from the wreckage. So, as you can imagine, your property will be completely secure until you decide to retrieve them from our safe. Okay. Interesting. I'd like to take a peek at that. I, I feel like, can I say, I, can I store something instead? Let's like take a peek at the Earth Savior Award. I've only seen it briefly myself, but I can assure you that it's quite lovely. Unfortunately, the item is locked inside of our safe which can only be accessed by presenting an appropriate claim ID. Is there anything else I can assist you with today? Okay. No, I'm fine, thanks. Well, if you change your mind, I'll be here. Have a wonderful trip. All right, I have a genius idea. I have a, uh, it, it might work. I don't think it will, uh, maybe, we'll see, we'll see. What do you think of Captain, uh, all right, no, Please let me know if there's anything I can do to make your stay Pick more comfortable. Pickpocketer, how about I tell her to open the door instead? Alright, first... We're gonna just quick save. Oh, this character can't do that! Uh... What else can I tell you to do? I'm manipulating her. Notepad. Please let me know if your voyage is unsatisfactory ah, in shoot. any way. Ah, ma'am, I'm stuck. Man, really? I thought she would be able to do that. That'd be awesome. All right, so what uh, What other things does it say then? Acquire the ES award claim ID. I don't, I don't have pickpocket yet. <laughs> I didn't get the theft Lovely ability. body, isn't it? Claudia Swiss. Sorry, I'm busy right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, you look really busy. Totally get that. I, I completely understand.
Oh, here we go. Okay. Expert. <gasps> Hold on. Save for a second. All right, let's try this. Oh God, it's expert. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? All right, so this one does work. Yes. Got it. Surely she'll have something in here, like a key card, maybe. Oh. If you line up uh, from the inside, it will help you. It hasn't failed to pick since. Ah, uh, okay, I see. So you're saying like, like if you went like this or whatever. Yeah, because that would work on the inside. Trying to find one that would work on the outside. Almost. This would work. So we don't want to use this one. The second one is going to be like this. Okay. Wait, that's actually a really good idea. So now all we need, we can't use these two. But if we use these, then we're fine. <laughs> That's funny that there's three random ones like this. What the heck? Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Crap. No! Oh no, I was right there. No. I didn't see these last two ones. I didn't account for them. I swear this this safe is going to have like some something not even worth it. I'm just doing it cuz I'm thinking maybe it's there. All right, so this one can only work on the outside. Let's try. And would this work? Almost. So one, two, and then three. Maybe this? Yeah, okay, there we go.
Okay. So one and then two. Hold on. Oh God, there's so many ways we could do this. What the hell? How about this? All right, you know what? We're just gonna commit. Commit to it. Yes, there we go. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Some wine and chocolate. Oh my god, I figured there was gonna be something better than that in there. Okay, dude. All right. See, this is why I don't really spend the time uh, to do that. Whoa, fashionable suit. Nice. Casual street suit. Okay. I don't think we're finding a thing in here. I'll take the med packs though. Okay. Um, whoops, didn't mean to do that. So we gotta go find this key somehow. Part of the ES award claim ID. about your crew it should be directed to one of the staff. Let's try talking to her. Must you continue these unwelcome interruptions? I'm a very busy woman. Can I convince her? I need your claim ID for the Earth Savior Award. Excuse me? <laughs> and why in goodness name would I do something as foolish as that? If you don't, I'll personally escort you to the nearest airlock. Oh my god. I'm gonna try persuading her. And why in goodness name would I possibly agree to that ridiculous demand? Uh, you'll look back on this later and wonder what we are arguing about. I can see that. I know you're gonna tell me eventually, so why not save yourself some time and tell me now? I don't have time for this. There's no reason for us to have a problem, is there? I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. Exactly. Oh, just take the damn thing already. <laughs> Listen, maybe you can keep this between us. If the award goes missing, there's no need for the insurance company to get involved. Hey, that's fine. Hey, I won't tell anybody. Wow, that was so easy. Holy. Hey, what's up, Annabelle? Good morning. Good morning. What is up here? It looks like it's like a gym, but it, oh, it's just a bunch of tables. This whole section is just closed off. Wait, this is Larry's room. We might try breaking into Larry's room too. Maybe there's something good in there. Open door, don't mind me. We got it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. Oh, I can actually intimidate her again? Nice. I wonder what happens if you do instigation on somebody, like a random person, or are they just gonna start attacking people around you? Wait, whose room was this? Oh, it's nobody's. Oh, they're cleaning it. Okay, I see. For the safety of everyone aboard, please be certain you don't interfere with any of the crew or security members. Ah, I see. They're cleaning it out. Ah. 
All right, let's try getting into Larry's room. Because why not? Hold on, let me save first. I don't think I saved. Oh my God, dude. Hold on, let's see. I have an idea. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. Ah, attempt failed. Failed. Damn it. I was gonna see if I can convince them to come over here, like manipulate them to come over here and do that. Wait, maybe if we go into the laundry, laundry services? On behalf of myself and the entire team at Trident Luxury Lines, we wish to thank you for choosing to travel with us. Hey, no problem. Glad to be here. Nice, got it. No way, if this works. <gasps> Yo! Oh my God, we just found it. Oh my God, that's amazing. That is amazing. I love this. I had her just follow me. All right, now I need to wait until she stops being manipulated. All right, now she's gonna go back to her regular duties. <laughs> hey technically i i mean i wasn't the one that opened it here i'm just i'm just checking this place out that's all i think it, it's not like a restricted area so i think i could have just walked in here either way that is such a great way of doing this though tablet I mean, I'll take the credits. Formal suit. I don't think we're finding anything in his room. In before we find him in the shower. Unless if there's like a, oh, he has Dracula vase. Oh, there's a safe. What if he has something good in his safe? I swear. Great expectations. All right, I don't really see anything here. He has a bunch of tablets. Uh, chat, give me like 10 seconds. I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick.
I'm back. I think the static is part of the game. Grabbed a drink while I was at it, so. Yeah, I could check out the safe. All right, we'll try it. Hold on, let, let me see, will this work? Again? I don't think so. It, it sucks you can only do that on them once. But I guess it did bypass, at least the first part. All right, here we go. So one, two, three, we need one that has like this. Yeah. Jeez, there's so many different ways of doing this. Then one, two, is there even ones with two here? How right, guys, your Saturday? Pretty good so far. How's yours, Tokyo? Just getting started here. Probably gonna be jumping around between a few games today. Man, there's so many ways we could do this. I don't think there's one with just two though, so I think we're kind of screwed. You know what? Auto slot. Okay, it just auto slotted one of them. About to play Cyberpunk, nice. I'm waiting for, I'm going back to Cyberpunk like next week. You know what, I'm just gonna do it like this. Whatever. We're just gonna slot it in and see how it goes. Yeah, Cyberpunk's getting a big update uh, next week, so I'm waiting for that. Okay, nice, that worked. What? It says this one works somehow. There it is. Almost, wait, got it. Are you kidding? Oh God. I'm never, I'm done with safes. I'm done with them. I'm not doing them anymore. I'm not doing it anymore. Double. I'm done. Literally get some canned food there. Hey, what's up, Charles? Good morning. Uh, I beat the main story twice. I didn't beat the, the game. The game is, is huge. If you have any specific questions, attendance yeah some canned beans all right so we gotta talk and find out about Larry hello are you a member of the society very valuable I beans. Hope they decide to hold all future societies Pleased to make your acquaintance star liner. you know anything about Larry <laughs> I don't know why Larry's attending this event. He could care less about any planet, let alone the Earth. Tokyo, thank you for the gifts. And uh, Charles, thank you for the gifts there, too. That's okay. all, then? 
Okay. The society chair has really outdone herself this time. <laughs> Yo, Tokyo, thanks for uh, subbing there. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Wasn't expecting that, but thank you very much. I appreciate that. Do you know anything about Larry? Let's put it this way. He screwed over so many people. If he suddenly disappeared from the universe, I don't think anyone would miss him. Nice to have met you. All right, that's good to don't know, but to like, I need to find this guy. At all times, or you won't have access to the ballroom. Who's that? The ship's purser can assist you with any matters regarding the security. In the event of a lockdown, remember to return to your cabin in a that quiet and orderly fashion. That view is absolutely spectacular, isn't it? Do you know anything about Larry? Yes, he's some kind of top dog over at Galbank. I heard he replaced someone that was caught running a fake loan scam. Okay. Enjoy the rest of the event. Do you know anything Have about Larry? Have you tried Larry? the canapes? Horrid. Positively horrid. Larry has an A-level executive rating over at Galbank, which means he has access to everyone's accounts at the touch of a button. Damn. Whoa, that's good. That's well, some that good info. Cool. So, what brings you aboard? Uh, I'm looking for Larry. That view is absolutely you know Larry? spectacular, isn't it? Hello. Are you a member of the society? Why do you keep doing this? Mm, he's been spending a lot of time with Claudia Swist. Ah. Quality time, if you catch my meaning. I'm certain his wife doesn't know a thing about it. Wait, I saw her. Speak Don't to forget Claudia to donate Swiss. to the cause. The society chair has She said, Oh, I'm too busy right now. I was wondering see, every time you see a named uh, a named character in a random place, you know they're gonna be used for something. Dude's integrity. Alright, we gotta go chat with her. Claudia. Thank you again for all the follows, guys. And thank you for the likes. Sorry, do I know you? You don't know me, but I need some information. Look, I think you're definitely confused here. I really don't have time to have a discussion with you. My partner's waiting for me. He's a very important man. Uh, yeah? I bet Galbank would love to know about your affair with Dombrowski. I can't believe this is happening. I told Larry to keep his big mouth shut, but did he listen? Uh -huh. No. He had to impress his friends and treat me like a trophy. Look, I've been in this business for a long time, and I know how this game works. So let's skip all the banter and get it over with. What's it going to take to make us both happy? Oh, all I need is some incriminating, uh, something incriminating on Dumbrowski. If I give you dirt on that son of a bitch Dumbrowski, all I'm doing is I like Dumbrowski myself. instead. Why would I do that? <laughs> I'll find that information one way or another, so you might as well benefit now. If you had another oh, way to get the information, you wouldn't be dealing. You'd be demanding. Uh, I have information that could seriously damage your reputation. You know more about me than I suspected. Can't have that. Wait. Hey. One second, chat. Chat. My uh, dog's getting into something. Just had to make sure. Do the fleet responses? I could. Only thing is, I feel like she might not be intimidated by it, but I have one more shot, so. Ugh, this is such a bad idea. The Crimson Fleet wants that info. 
What the hell? Okay, never Dombrowski mind. Dombrowski has us mixed up with a crimson fleet. All right, you've made your point. You know, this whole thing really pisses me off. Larry and I had the perfect scheme where thousands of credits all worked out, and then he goes and flushes the whole thing down the toilet. Tell me about this scheme. What's the numbers? The numbers, so there's like bars that, that you have to get added to be able to pass the persuasion. And uh, doing that, I was able to actually pass it, so. Oh boy, tell me about the scheme. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting to that. Larry got together with myself and this other guy, Gabriel Vera. He's some big wig over at UC Security. I doctored the transactions, Larry wiped them off the system, and Vera kept the legal pressure off of us. We were scamming Galbank for months. It was going well until I discovered Larry was cheating everyone by changing each transaction in his favor before deleting them. Damn. If you want a revenge, give me proof I can use against him. I wish I had some. Maybe you should try talking to Gabriel Vera. He should be around here somewhere. If he doesn't want to cooperate, just mention my name. That should grab his attention. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Oh boy. I hope you hurt Dombrowski. Nail his ass right to the wall. Oh, I will. Oh, I'm gonna nail him. I'm gonna nail him against the wall and take him down. I've done this particular cruise run several times, and I can assure you. All right, we gotta talk to Gabriel Vera now. Have you tried the cannabis? This guy. Horrid. He looks familiar. You here for the charity event? Uh, I'm actually interested about what's going on at Gal Bank. Oh, uh, I'm afraid that's a bit outside my wheelhouse. I work for UC Security, so I don't think I could be of much help. I have nothing to do with Gal Bank. Uh, sure, sure you don't. Claudia Swiss says you have information about Larry Dombrowski. Claudia sent you, did she? <laughs> Look, friend, I don't know if you're just a little drunk, maybe a touch crazy, or both. Whatever you think you know about me, you're dead wrong. So back off. Maybe I'll, ha I'll hand any evidence I already have over to the authorities. <laughs> just in case you weren't aware, I am the authorities. Anything you try to report will boil down to your word against mine. And since I work for UC Security, who do you think people will believe? Yeah, that was Koi barking earlier. Also, it's up, Dice. Ah, great. I certainly hope they decide to hold all future society events aboard. All right, we gotta get back to Rukov. Oh, he's up here now. Oh, nice. I saw your little exchange with Vera. I saw Keep that up, and I guarantee that Embassar is gonna Vera. demand that you be arrested. He's involved in an embezzlement scheme with Dombrowski and Swiss. Which is why he's threatening you. That makes sense. We need hard evidence of their scheme. But it's gonna be tricky. Do you have any the mods? No, I haven't installed any mods yet. We need to get Vera isolated so he'll spill everything he knows. Should we wait until he returns to his cabin and falls asleep? Maybe. But if something goes wrong and he's able to raise an alarm, we're sunk. Okay. With all of these wealthy patrons aboard, the ship is crawling with security. A shipwide emergency might do the trick. Smart. If there's an emergency, standard practice is for all passengers to clear the decks and report to their cabins for lockdown. I think the best chance we have would be to tamper with the life support sensors. Manipulate a few controls and you can fool the monitoring system into thinking there's a, a life support failure. And there you have your emergency. Nice. 
Won't the ship be at risk without the life support? This is one of Trident's premier starliners. That means it has the best of everything. Including a triple redundancy life support system. They installed a backup for the backup. Damn. Luckily for us, it will still trip an emergency and everyone will have to return to their quarters until I sound the all clear. Which I won't. Alright, I guess I'll do whatever it takes to get it done. Don't worry. It'll be as easy as it was mingling with the guests at the party. Just throw a few lousy switches and you're done. One more thing. If Chief Engineer Sundin gives you any trouble, tell him I'll erase that gambling debt he owes me. I prefer you use that as a last resort, but hey, what's the harm in losing a few credits when I'm on the brink of rejoining the fleet, right? Anyway, I better start backing. Things are getting hot around here, and won't be long before Trident figures out you had help. Fair enough. Get back to it. So, what brings you aboard? We gotta do a little bit of tampering here. Just a little, little bit of, you know, tamper tamper. You got some darts. Siren of the Stars. Siri. Captain Rokov is one of the most easygoing COs I've ever worked under. He doesn't act much like a cat. Nice. Alright, what do we gotta do? Speak to the chief engineer. Uh, hey, uh, uh, hold up. This area is off limits to passengers. Wait a second. You're Captain Rokov's guest, right? Didn't expect to see you down here. Sorry to give you trouble. What can I do for you? I, uh... I really need to get into that life support area. Oh, uh, sorry. That area is off limits. No exceptions. I can either pay him a thousand credits or I can say... Captain said he's willing to forgive your gambling debt. Yeah, you know, I'll say that. Oh, really? Well, that changes things quite a bit. Tell you what, I'm just going to step out for a bit and stretch my legs. Maybe you can hold this for me while I'm away. Hey, don't mind if I do. Feel free to look around, but don't mess with any of the controls. S L S U O one fails L S U O two automatically activate in the highly un unlikely event that O two has failed O three will automatically activate. Author units are offline and automated. Order to deploy environmental suits will be broadcasted throughout the ship. Please contact the engineer. Wait, which one's O one? Uh, there's three of them here. Yeah, big red button. Pull all three. Oh, okay, that's one. I think we're good if we turn off one. Or do we need to do all three? I guess we do have to do all three. All passengers, may I have your attention please? The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Please report to your 
Okay. Guess sweets. Won't get much further. <laughs> this ship is in a state of emergency. Please return to your cabin immediately. Don't worry, I'm on my way. I'm on my way to the cabin. Hello, Mr. Vera. I was wondering if you were the cause of the shipwide emergency. It's time you stop playing games and tell me why you're here. Dombrowski has something that the Crimson Fleet wants. I always took him for a fool, but I can't believe he's stupid enough to have gotten mixed up with the Crimson Fleet. Still, why would I possibly want to incriminate myself by handing over any evidence. As Claudia says, you've been cheated out of your fair share of the Galbank job by Dombrowski. Claudia said that? You sure? Damn it! That means my money's please. already gone. And Dombrowski's going to walk away with a fortune. Please I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't wanna end up on the Crimson Fleet shit list. But if I give you that information and it falls into the wrong hands, I'll end up in jail. This is a lose-lose situation for me. I'll pay you to offset your losses. At least I walk away with something. All right. You have yourself a deal. Here, with this slate and this recording to tie it all together, you'll be able to nail his ass to the wall. He'll do whatever you want. Hell Just yeah. remember that you promised to leave me out of it. Got it. Ever thought of joining the Crimson Fleet? Just because I'm helping you nail Dombrowski doesn't mean I'm turning my back on UC security. How else am I going to ensure that he ends up behind bars when all this comes crashing down? No, you can leave me out of your merry little band of pirates. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, fair enough. You better tell Dombrowski to run, because if you don't kill him, I will. Time to confront Larry. All right, Larry. Well, well. You must be the one who's been accosting Claudia and Gabriel. I'm uncertain what you hope to accomplish here, but it appears we should rapidly enter into some sort of negotiation. Sure, let's negotiate. All passengers. Excellent. May I Excellent. have your attention, so, please? Before we begin, let's review the facts. First, it's clear that you've obtained insider knowledge of my arrangement to defraud Galbank. The means and the method, perhaps, but not the motive. And second, I'm going to hypothesize that my compatriots are despondent regarding their share and have assisted you with this endeavor, hmm? Since we're speaking and I'm not at the reporting end of a bullet, this leads me to conclude that you desire something personal from me. <laughs> Hang on, I need to get a thesaurus to understand what you're saying. <laughs> I haven't entirely ruled out a bullet option yet. I see. Well, that certainly places a damper on our negotiations. Perhaps I can hasten my diatribe to temper your violence-ridden contribution. In blunt terms, you have compromising materials about me in your possession. The only thing I have to offer in return are my gal bank credentials. I assume that's what you've been angling for all along? That's all I want. Splendid. 
Ah, it appears we've reached an accord. And may I say, it was a pleasure conversing with an intellectual equal. Oh, of course, I trust you'll understand if I ask for us to avoid any further contact. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to formulate how I'm going to utterly ruin two very annoying business associates. Good day. All right, we got him. Return to Royv. Our security team would appreciate you. Thank you. Well, looks like everything worked out. Just like we planned. I wish you hadn't blown away the gambling debt that Sandine owed me. But hey, you got the job done. I couldn't have done this without your help. I'm glad you feel that way. Yeah, Just we'll definitely put it in a good word for him. How much I pitched in to help. You know, I'm still wondering exactly what you needed those credentials for. You feel like telling me, partner? I uh, nah, I can't. I want to tell you, but the Delgado would kill me if I did. Ah, uh, so he told you to keep it from me. I see. I wouldn't want you to risk your position with the fleet like I did, so I'll just leave it alone. Anyway, I suppose there's nothing stopping me from rejoining the fleet now. It's been a long time coming. I owe you one, Doberbeach. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Nonsense. If there's one universal constant you can depend on, it's that... Yevgeny Rokov always makes good All on his deeds. Always. May I have your attention, well, I suppose this the is where we part company. Hopefully the next time we meet, we'll be aboard the key. Please report to your cabins in an orderly okay. fashion and remain there Proceed until you receive further instructions. Man, that, that thing is so loud. Siren of the Stars is now an emergency. Uh, is this how I get out of here? Yeah, it is. I am so happy that they have this. Every time, it is such a lifesaver. Instead of stumbling around trying to find your own way out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it took me right to it. I'll go ahead and undock. Okay. And we're gonna make our way over to New Atlantis now. Let's head back to the lodge. Oh wait, well, this is taking me directly to the lodge, but that's fine. I didn't actually mean to go directly to the lodge. This might be the closest one over uh, nearby this, though. Little Bunny, thank you for the uh, the gift there on TikTok. Appreciate that. to keep it loose but I keep stumbling over the third quarter projection deal with the Galbank guard hello welcome to the <clears throat> the uh, Galbank archives may I see your credentials please uh sure here you go just one moment while I verify oh uh, yes, Mr. Dombrowski. Welcome, sir. 
Give me a moment to log your visit, and then I'll unseal the archives. Ah, okay. <laughs> the little bunny foo foo. <laughs> Thanks for the follow there on Twitch. You're acting uh, a bit strange. Me? No. Look, this is my first day on the job. Just cut me some slack, okay? I can't afford to lose it. I got a wife and kids to feed. Everything checks out. Give me a moment to log your visit, and then I'll unseal the archives. Okay. There we go. Have a wonderful day. Well, that's convenient. It's his first day. Thank you, sir. Damn. Deal with the ambush. Wait, what? Oh! What? How do I get to the second floor? Trying to instigate this guy. Ah, oh, really fail. Reload! Oh my god, I'm almost dead. What the hell? He's attacking his teammates right now. Don't worry about me. Whoa! Whoa! What was that? Take all this. Is there any other loot? No, no. Lost ship registry. Oh, there's the legacy. I forgot. This is all for the legacy ship. That's crazy. Proceed back to the key. Anything else in here? All right, I think we're good. Wait, where did this guy go? He left. Did he run? <laughs> I think he ran because that was his first day. Okay, well, that was easy enough. Let's get back over there. Whoops. Man, I feel like we're leveling so slow now. All the way back out to the key. Jump. Here we are. Docking in. Full speed ahead, we're jacking in. Boy. Yep. 
Yo, 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 what's up? Next time you see Bog, tell him to lighten up. Speak to Bog. Okay. You want to kick back? Avoid the last note. All right, let's see what we got here. Your buddy Rokoff is aboard the key. Told me everything had happened. Yeah, he won't shut up about you. Keeps going on and on. Now I remember why we kicked his ass out the fleet. Hey, he's not so bad. He turned out to be pretty helpful. Yeah, that'd be a first. All right, neighbor, you've made your point. Well, since you're vouching for Rokov, I guess we can give him another chance. Wow, they really trust All right. me now. Now that is out of the way, we can move on to the matter at hand. Crix's legacy. Speaking of which... Let me see that data you copied from the Galbank archives. Ah, so the Galbank transport went down over Bannock 4. Bannock. Why does that sound familiar? Neva? Yeah, yeah, keep your panties on. I'm looking it up. And... I got it. Bannock 4. Let's see. Damn it. Bannock 4 is an EM-class gas giant. We can't even get a ship near the thing without frying every circuit aboard. Uh, EM class gas giant? Don't know that one, huh? Well, pick up your pencil. There's gonna be a test on this later. EM class means the planet is giving off a ridiculously high amount of electromagnetic radiation. We're talking off the charts here. Fly your ship anywhere near one of these death traps, and you'll blow every single circuit on your ship. You'd be dead in space. Get it? Hmm. Well, there's got to be a way. Yeah, sure. We'll just wrap your ship in a ton of copper and launch you right in there. That ought to do the trick, right? Both of you shut up and think for a second. I'm sure Kriegs hit the same roadblock. All we need to do is figure out how he got around it. This sounds like a goddamn waste of time to me. Uh, mm. I don't think Kriegs would have given up. That's the spirit, Rook. That is the essence of the Crimson Fleet that has been slipping away lately. Neva, the Galbank data says the transport had a CBR-27 transponder. A CBR-27 kind of transponder? Thing? Pinpoint its exact location? That transponder is military grade. We're talking ultra-bit encryption, constantly reshuffling frequencies. We don't have shit like that laying around. But... Before you get that pissy look on your face, I heard that the UC's been working on a ship signal decryption system called the Comm Spike. We grab that little beauty, and we'll be able to track anything you want. All right, here is the plan, so shut up and listen. Rook, I want you and Neva to put your heads together and get us that Comm Spike. I don't care if it's mounted at the top of mast. I want it. In the meantime, I'm going to find out more about this EM class gas giant problem. And I think I know just who to ask. Give me a little time to crunch the numbers on the comm spike with Jazz, and I'll point us in the right direction. Figure it, this out, I promise. I promise? You gonna write that in your diary, <laughs> little girl? All right, that is enough. We are in arm's reach of Crix's legacy, and I don't have time to deal with this kind of bullshit. Now, both of you, get the hell out of here and get to work. All right. Let's get this over with. Follow me. All right, Neva. What do you want? You're lucky I got your thing that she was asking for, too. My Crimson Fleet missions are bugged, really? Oof.
What the hell is that? Why is this in here? Is this like a pet? Aren't? Huh. How do you have the blur effect? Um, I have two. So the, the first one is actually my entire screen, like the center is my entire screen from uh, my scene on like Twitch and YouTube. And then the background is actually just the uh, capture card with a blur added. I've got the stuff so to it works it. out, which is kind of cool. All right, let's get right to it. Did you get the Earth Savior Award or am I going to be very disappointed? Here you go. Well, well, look at that. You followed my directions, and now you're going to end up with some credits in your pocket. Of course, it would have been more money if you hadn't blabbed about the damn thing to roll call. But that's on you. Anyway, here's your cash. Keep this up, and I might even start respecting you. All right, Fleet? We've all got work to do. So 3,000 credits. Oh my god. You want to stay under the radar? I've got to Report the progress. Ah, uh, okay, here we go again. Got to go report it. May you have to do the VC uh UC line? Yeah, I I definitely plan on doing it. Um I've only yes, done Freestar yes, yes, yes. so far and now Crimson Fleet like this. Um, but I, I do want to actually do right now. I'm kind of doing more of like a, I guess, a pirate run during this playthrough. But at some point, I, I will do like a, a better one too. Like, I go through and actually report everything willingly. And we might even have like starborn options then, which is nice, which will be cool. Three thousand credits a lot. It is like starting out, but it's really not. Also, thank you for the gifts there again. Annabelle and Charles, thank you guys for just dropping all these gifts today. I appreciate it. I think my ship is like freaking out, making a bunch of banging noises. All right, let's talk to Excuse Commander. Me. Let's see if I can deceive him at all. Hello. Hey, listen up, Heard Commander. You made off with something called I'm done. Earth Savior I quit. The empires will have you steal anything. So I heard there was a bit of excitement on the Siren of the Stars. Your handiwork, I assume. How do you hear these things? News travels around fast. We told you we'd be keeping tabs on you. So, did you get information for us or not? I was able to successfully steal the Galban credentials. Yes, and I heard there were no casualties. Excellent work. Except for the ecliptic hit squad that you took down at the archives. We've taken care of that mess, by the way. Speaking of which, I assume you copied the information from the Galbank's computers. Let me see what you got. So the legacy went down at Bannock 4. Bannock 4. Hmm. Why does that sound familiar, Doft? Bannock 4 is an EM class gas giant, sir. There isn't a ship in the fleet that could safely get near that type of world. I feel like we hit a dead end. Good. That should slow them down for a while. You almost have to feel bad for them. What, are you kidding me? I don't feel bad for them at all. In fact, I can't wait till the key is a smoldering pile of space debris. Ah, nice. All right, calm Classic. down, Lieutenant. 
Even if Delgado has an immediate solution to the EM problem, there's still the matter of tracing the legacy's transponder signal. They think something called the comm spike will solve that problem. They have information about the comm spike? <sighs> Damn it. I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that device, sir. No, you shouldn't be familiar with it. It's a highly classified project. It's an advanced signal decryption and tracking device that the UC Navy's been working on for years. How the hell did the Crimson Fleet find out about that? There must be an information leak somewhere, sir. It's the only thing that makes sense. I'll see what I can find out. Fine. This is what we're going to do. You keep playing along and go after the comm spike. Lieutenant Toft and I will see what we can find out about Bannock 4. Alright. We'll report back with any evidence that I recover, unfortunately. Perfect. Just stick with the plan and we'll see who gets to Krix's legacy first. Early ah, I see. A little sus. Yeah, I'm a little, a little sus right now too. She called you Rook the first time. Ah, okay. Okay. Um, I see. I guess we'll see. Get back over here. We'll meet with Neva again. I like how close it's bringing us in here. It's like when we, I, I think when we used to fast travel to these, you'd be like 1500 meters away. But now it's like within five almost. Once we get inside, I want to find a bunk for my guy to rest at for a second. Cause I, I want to get the uh, XP bonus again. Yeah. That's, that's still the one thing that I hate about this ship is that there's no bed in it. Every captain here's earned their stripes, bleeding. <clears throat> I like access computer. Wait, where are the bunks? Are Trade just authority. To take the key because it ain't no fun. I've seen them before. Well, let's try going to the Trade Authority. I haven't gone to Trade this Authority guy. takes anything and everything. What'll it be, friend? Buying, selling. The Trade Authority takes anything and everything. Yeah, you said that twice. Uh, I'm just seeing whether the depot has Leeds offered. Got an impressive. They even managed the business on the key. Man, I, I hated that every time you talk to them, they like tell you regardless. all info like. I'm so sure we talk we business. I wish you could ask questions if you wanted to. 239. Could pick up some more ammo. How about, do they have med packs or anything that heals? Yeah, I'll buy like these. That's two. Trauma packs. Nice. Med kits. All right, I think that should cover it. I'll pick up some ammo too. Can't go wrong with that. Where did I get all these from? 
Oh, right. I didn't equip this yet. Ah, oh, shoot. I got a pirate swashbuckler gear. That's kind of cool. Prison scarf. <laughs> Chip captain's uniform. Wait, that's actually sick too. What the heck? I'm going to put this on my guy. Uh, on my companion. Or maybe I'll even throw this on him. Oh, God. No, I didn't mean to sell it. No! Give it back. All right, there we go. Whew. Saved. Do I have any... Do some things get marked as, like, stolen? Oh, yeah, this med pack. All right. Your credits are always oh, good. I'm happy the that they board. have a buyback option. Love hey, this game. Yeah, it's it's, it's been a lot of fun. To put something in my pack. Yes, I do. Actually, all right. Should I give him? Um, first, let me equip this. Should I give my other guy the pirate gear or the captain gear? Either one. Both of them are kind of cool. Pirate gear or, or captain. I could give him the poncho and let him wear that instead. Audio is crackling in dialogue. In game, really? I can, uh, I can check something. Lil. You didn't hear it? No, I didn't hear it. Oh, let me go back to the... I have the VOD pulled up. Oh, God, it is. Holy crap, what the hell? Why is it so bad? I hear it now. Jeez, it's really bad. All right, I'm surprised you guys aren't complaining. Jeez, what the hell? All right, we got to figure this out. I'm not sure what's up with that. Yeah, but that's still weird why I would do that. Only It's only when talking to an NPC. Wait. Um, I have an idea. I might know what it is. Alright. But I don't know if this one would do. Bye. Need right, any help check. out in the field? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> so many. I'm still getting used to this whole traveling with myself thing. This is kind of an obvious one. Yeah, I, but I see it's I've been gone wondering now. what you think the biggest difference is between our unit. Wait, seriously? That that's crazy. Grab drives must have been totally different where you came from. Wait. You're messing with me, aren't you? Ha ha, very funny. What about your family? I'm pretty close with my parents. Are you or uh, were you? I... No, me and my parents are never really close. Huh. I see. I guess there really are... Wait, that's really weird. Why did, this audio, why did the audio get staticky like that? What else? I didn't hear it, though. Ah, here's a good one. If our roles were reversed and I was the Starborn instead, would you have joined my crew? Uh, 
Uh, okay, now I'm interested in this conversation. Does the story change? Yes, because uh, I'm talking to myself right now. Yeah, once you get the new game plus, that's where things start getting really interesting. Uh, in my opinion, at least. Uh, couldn't pass up the chance to travel with myself. That's why I took it. I figure I'm the only person in history who's ever gotten an offer like that. I, Passing it up seemed hell? like a bad call. For what it's worth, I'm glad you're the captain. I, yeah, I, I heard the it there. Mate. Well, I didn't hear it you're myself, a, wait, but what the hell if is If I was that? at the helm, but I do have one more question. Oh, God, that's like... Safe travels. I wonder what it is. It, like, cut in there for a second. Um, hold on one second. Really weird. Uh, let me check this. Okay. Like, how does that happen? Oh, he's chewing on the wires. <laughs> Let's try restarting the game for a second. Just to make sure it's Yeah, I hear I see it there. What the hell? One second. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I unplugged some stuff. All right, I'm waiting for this to come back. It hasn't come back yet, though. <laughs> One second. Yeah, you guys can't hear that either. Oh. Let me try. Dude, I don't. All right, I can restart without updating, so I'm going to try restarting my my gaming PC. I think you guys will still be able to hear me too while it's restarting. Cuz I I have audio wired differently now. All right, let's uh stop the recording for a second. All right, my PC is in the process of restarting. How's everybody's Saturday? Can we get a vibe check? How's your Saturdays going, chat? How's how's everyone doing? Oh, uh, shoot. I can't see TikTok chat. Hold on. TikTok, I won't be able to read chat for like 30 seconds until my computer is back up. Okay, PC is back on. All right, that's back. One second, chat. Pull this back up.
There we go. All right, now I can see chat again. Let's try launching this here. See the audio going through, so that looks good there. That's so weird why it would randomly start happening though. Like I'm not getting static anywhere else at all. Let's try talking. Good to see you. Uh, uh, that's fine by me, boss. Good chat. Need any help out in the field? <laughs> and here I was thinking you could read my mind. Now I'm happy to talk like this whenever. Anything I can do to help out? Sure. Can't exactly keep secrets from myself. Just testing can I? the sea. I'm still getting used to answering questions from myself. Are you looking to start something? Cause I'll finish it. Alright, let's side. Uh... I'm listening to it right now. But I'm hoping that my nurse fixed it. I still don't know what would have caused the static like that. All right, Jazz. What do you got? Sounds good so far. According to the latest, the comp spike is being developed at UC Star Station SY920. Location undisclosed. Yeah, I have, I have it opened up on my phone so too. So how do we disclose it? We could lean on your smuggling contact. Call in that favor. You know who I mean. Our friend on Jimson. Nice one, Jazz. I'll make the arrangements. The fleet's the only family you need. You've got stuff to smuggle. I've got the stuff to hide it. All right, Rook. Next stop, New Atlantis. Your connection is Juan Dayu. She's got most of the premium UC smuggling routes locked down tight. If you don't piss her off, she should be able to sneak you past SY920's security. Just remember to count your fingers after you shake hands with her. Sounds like she'll be useful. I sure hope so. Cause she might be our only crack at finding a decent decryption device. Once Juan gets you past the guard dogs, it's gonna be on you to locate the comm spike. According to the data we have, it's in the prototype phase, meaning there should only be a single device aboard the station. Basically, you break it, you bought it. I'll bring it back in one piece. You'd better, for your sake. Oh, and one more thing. SY920 is a UC military installation. That means it's guarded by heavily armed troops. And we both know those idiots don't mess around. If you intend to turn the place into a shooting gallery, you might want to be sure you're hauling an arsenal because you're going to need it. Understood. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. Okay, so I'm going to arrange a meeting with Juan at Kay's place in the well. In the meantime, I'll make sure Jazz comes up with a solution to the electromagnetic atmosphere problem at Bannock 4. Oh, okay. You'll make sure. More like get drunk while Jazz does all the hard work. Typical. <laughs> Privileges of rank, my darling. All right, sounded pretty good so far. We'll discuss it a little later. And you, get the hell out of here. And don't come back without that comm spike in your cargo bay. All right. Hit me up if you got questions. Yeah, it sounded a lot better so it's far. It's always nice to see a friend. Uh, I'll yeah, keep an eye I on it, though. That. I wonder if it's uh, test one, two, one, two. Okay. Just making sure. Um, 
Yeah, I, wanna, I don't know if it was like my capture card that was freaking out for a second there because I unplugged that, restarted my computer, so I'm hoping that's what it was. Um, but I guess we'll, we'll find out either way. If it does come out, just let me know, chat, and I'll uh, I'll check it out again for sure. Uh, so anyways, should I put on the ship captain uniform or I think I put on the... We also have the pirate one. I'll give him both. Actually, well, I'm not really wearing anything. Can you use controller on PC? Yeah, you can. I'll see you later. Nice. Drooped out. Sometimes I, I debate on hiding my armor, but I, I still really like the uh, this thing. We never get to see my character anymore. That's the only thing. Nothing like the smell of a dead shark. All right, let's make our way out here. So I think later today, I'm not sure. I, I might do some like shorter streams, like two to three hour streams today, but that way we can play some more things. Um, so we might go for like another hour here on Starfield. And then I might break, uh, take like a short break, play some uh, Baldur's Gate 3 for a bit. Then I might play a little bit more uh, this, the Crew Motor Fest later today for like another two hours. And then we might actually come back to this again tonight, depending on how, how it plays out due to like two to three hour streams instead of like a four to five hour stream. We'll see though. Kind of, that's kind of my thought process for today. At least, I don't know why. I could have just gone to the spaceport to begin with. But. <laughs> Thanks for the hard side on uh, YouTube. It's interesting. I, I see the little like like with the reaction stuff popping up. I don't know if it actually does anything, but I know they added it recently. Kind of funny. All right, we got to go up there. See what we got. Oh. So we are meeting up. I was kind of like, I was paying attention, but a little distracted too. So according to the conspect is being held at a top secret UC station to board it. We'll need to speak with one of her smuggling contacts. One. Got it. I take it your name is new recruit. And you must be the smuggler. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sure. Careful. The walls have ears. That's why 920 is one of my regular stops, so I already have the necessary approvals. Neva says you're after a piece of UC tech. So to get it, we're going to need to get you on board. I can do that, but I have conditions. Let's hear him. Good. If I can be candid, for this job to work, we'll have to do this my way. We take my ship, and you're a member of my crew. But make no mistake, once you board, the risk is entirely yours. This route is highly lucrative, and sacrificing it is not an option. Got it. Good. Then we have a deal. In any case, when you're ready, meet me at my ship. It's the Jade Swan. And make sure you're prepared for the long haul. Once you're on board SY920, you can't come and go as you please. Okay. We'll talk more on the ship. Yeah, your your missions do change a little bit based on the dialogue option you choose, because um, there's different ways a lot of missions can play out. I'm Man, telling every you, time Bianchi, I come here, I see them talking the about the boots. Sold me. The boots. I wear them to the metro. Suddenly, the shuttle runs late. All right. I buy a cup of coffee and the barista screws uh, up my chat, while order. They talk this out, I'm going like to grab a drink and I'm go to the bathroom. I'm walking under ladders with a broken mirror in my pocket. I'm stuck here. 
and the only so I'll be time right it back happens in like two minutes. is when I'm wearing your boots. So, what do you want me to do about it? I want a damn refund. Fine, fine. I'll take the boots back. Just don't tell anyone you bought them from here. You won't find anything at Enrix. That place is where good selection goes to die. Dude was glitching out for a bit. Is audio still good? No issues. No problems. All right, sounds good, Robert. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, I got contacts all over. Stockman. Absolutely. Yeah, still good? Okay, very good, very good. Jeez, man, these breaches are always insane. I'm picking one up. <laughs> Frontier attire, settler comfort wear. Maybe I will hide my suit for now. Some of these are kind of cool. Watch your back out there. I mean, I wear the suit all the time. Yeah, we'll do it. I want the prison suit, though. What's on the agenda today? Need me to put something or on? Not the prison one, the uh, pirate one. Where is that? Yeah, give me that. Bye. Bye. Oh. Uh, equip. Graphics are good on this, dude. Uh, or is it just your setup? I mean, I'm playing the game mostly on high settings right now. Um, I have a 3080 Ti, so they, I think they look decent. They're nothing like crazy. But they're, I still think they're good. <laughs> hey, you remind me of Cal Kestis with the poncho. Yeah, I, I see that, actually. I definitely see that. That's what I was thinking too when I saw the poncho. I saw somebody actually created Cal Kestis. Is this the faction that makes you the most credits? Uh, that I'm not sure actually. I don't really know what you get for doing this. 
the best there is. Let's hop on here. How many credits you got? I have it like a decent amount right now, but that's also because I'm, uh, I have the highest encumbrance. So I sell stuff for a pretty good price. Right now I have 46,000 though. And we're at the very, very, very beginning of uh, New Game Plus 2. So. Okay. Hello. Nobody can stop Alright, I gotta find how to get to her. We're here. Uh -huh. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm thinking about doing maybe the Ryujin uh, storyline on this playthrough too. Since they're kind of like secret and like yes. under oh, not not necessarily undercover, but they're both like I don't All right. know. I feel like it might fit. When we get to the checkpoint, UC military will be hailing us. Let me do the talking. Return your piece of cargo if you have to. Yay. Shouldn't be a problem. Of course. I don't expect it to be. Now, like I said before, once we take off, there's no turning back until this job is done. If you need to take care of anything before we leave, do it. If you want to ask me any other questions, go for it. Uh... I'm ready, let's go. Hey. All right, then get comfortable. We leave for SY920 <clears throat> immediately. All crew prepare for takeoff. All right, I'll take a Routing seat. Routing power to engine and grab drive. All systems go. Whoa, this is kind of cool. What the hell? This is different, being in, uh, not we'll grab being the one flying. SY920 flight. from here. Don't worry about your personal ship. The fleet will make sure it's secure. You can take this time to prepare. Just try not to bother my pilot while they're flying. Don't worry, Captain. Pardon. I've spent half my life walking and chewing gum at the same time. I can handle a little banter. Sounds like you're putting in a request for double duty. Captain, I retract my earlier statement. For the record, I don't even like gum. <laughs> <laughs> Noted. Just get us there safe. Roger that. No, I saw I saw the captain's yes, locker, what? but I didn't. Oh wait, it's free. Ask for a bigger You've entered secure UC military space. Oh, I thought it was gonna Identify be stealing. I didn't. I wasn't gonna time. take from it, but I mean, if this it's free, Black we might as well. Class ship ID UC seven nine three eight, requesting permission to dock. Identity Ooh, confirmed. I'll take that. Hey, prepare your ship for scanning. You're clear to dock at docking bay two. Cargo hold like two? Yeah, I don't see we'll the car. Oh, right over here. And they have some good stuff. I won't take the other items, though. Pardon. Oh, God, dude, this is trippy. <laughs> Watching them dock like this is actually kind of cool. Howdy. It would be cool if you could assign somebody to your like um, Hello. your ship to actually fly for you instead. Okay, wait. Well, of yourself. First things first. The station is enormous, with checkpoints everywhere. To get past them, you'll need a military uniform, and to get a uniform, you'll need to get to the barracks. There should be a way through the vents. You can get to them via the maintenance door downstairs. There's an intercom there as well, where we can make contact. Once you get a uniform, it should be fairly easy to find an elevator to the command bay. But, if at any point your cover's blown, I'm gone. Don't worry, they won't suspect a thing. I would hope not. But if they do, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Either way, for now, get on that station and find that intercom. We'll talk more then. Yes. Okay. Yes, what? Let's get on board. Oh, uh, yeah. I have the pirate outfit right now, so. <laughs> I don't know how well that's going to go over, but. All 
let's get to this. Save. Time to get in. We won't get much further with them. In access to the barracks to find a uniform. You with the Jade Swan? Loading and unloading only. Stay clear of the military barracks. We need a lot of... Do your job, keep your head down, and we won't have trouble. Uh, that one wasn't my ship, but that one was somebody else's. Uh, it, it's part of this mission. You can Hold get up. windows, This though. area is for SY920 military only. Forgot my uniform. Rules are rules. Can't let you in unless you're military. I just need to get to the barracks and pick my uniform up. Yeah, I get that this place can be a maze. Yeah, it's it's so confusing. I, I right? It's I, I won't be long. Just give me like five minutes. Well, if you're quick about it, I suppose no one will notice. Exactly. Come on, just do the do me this favor. Come on. I, I mean, it's not gonna hurt anybody, right? Yeah. I guess I can bend the rules a little. Exactly. Exactly. Come on. This this is an emergency. I promise. I suppose if you're quick. All right, fine. You're good. Nice. Just be quick about it. Speech 100. <laughs> Find a uniform. Hey. Authorized personnel only. I am authorized. Only designated SY920 UC military allowed. You're not even in uniform. Yeah, that's what I was going for. I was, I was going to get my uniform. Oh God, there's so many of them. Ah, oh, shoot. Rules haven't changed. I'll be right back. Let's hope I see a Marine next time. Wait, where's the barracks? There's been rumors of soldiers smuggling personal. Oh, into I the see. So I can be in this area, but I have to get a captain uniform to get to that one. Uh, it makes sense now. My back's fine. It would be good, good people. We really need some go ahead and uh, just. You know, There's sensitive equipment up here. Let me just go ahead and uh, equip this. Don't mind if I do. Recorder's computer. Wait, can I have a sleep for a minute? I want to rest. I think you actually have to equip it too. But did we already put it on? Oh, we did. Nice. Oh, this thing actually looks kind of cool. Read the files. Thought about doing it for a second. Security standards. Only uniform personnel, rules of engagement. All right, I think we'll be all right. Let's get back down Things there. Things have gotten real tight since we had the Enter the command bay. State your business. Just say a report to the camp commander command bay for duty. Logging and sin level clearance. Go on ahead. Right, there you go. Yeah, see, I told you I forgot my I couldn't find my uniform, that's all. Surely. Find the intercom to speak to Juan. Quick save this is here. Captain Juan Dayu. 
Made it to the command bay. Good. And no alarms or warnings on the comms. Music to my ears. If you found a uniform, be sure to put it on. They'll provide some cover. Don't know what you're after, but I'm guessing there'll be another checkpoint. This far down, you might need a clearance code. Whoa. Wait, Sam Co. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't have him with me. But what happens? We could always use the vents on a station this big. There's always a lot of ways of sneaking. Okay, what happens if I click this? Try the security office. They likely have a computer there that has what you need. Going dark for now. We'll talk again once you've located your target. I don't even have Sam with me. What? <laughs> That's weird. Well, you better hurry. You know what they say. But okay. Find information and optional obtain a clearance code. Hey, I mean it. If it's free, right? Might as well. I have an idea. What is this guy doing? Nice, got him. Let's see if they can unlock this for me. Character can't do that. No! You can't unlock it for me, man. I mean, it is novice, so I could do it myself. All right, now we gotta wait until he gets out the room, though. What is he doing? I don't recognize your face, Ensign. Are you new? Stop right there, Ensign. What is happening? All right, Ensign. Why aren't you at your post? Who's your commanding officer? Only authorized personnel are allowed here. I report directly to Commander Natara. Only senior officers report to the commander. Something doesn't seem right. Ooh, 4,000 credits? How about a little negotiation? That change anything? I'm going to pretend oh. I didn't hear that. Okay, listen, listen, listen. Hey, I haven't heard of you. Everyone's had a great thing. Uh, haven't I heard of you? Everyone's had great things to say. Oh, yeah? Everyone? Fine. I'll let you go, Ensign. But as soon as you're done with your task, you should return to your post. Oh, thank you. Whew. Okay. Uh, how are we gonna do this here? He's on the prowl. He is. Nice. your clearance code marine got a code all right ensign let's hear it ah shit ak 172c or 127c your clearance in akasaka oh my god <laughs> commander 
Katara, test flights for the latest prototypes are ready to go. I feel like... Hold on, chat. I if have you a this feeling... Level accent, you need to leave. Whoa, okay, my bad, my bad. I'll just leave. You need to leave. I have a feeling that there's a... thing around here. Um, like one of those magazines. Projects. Please report to Gabriel Vogel for further guidance. Tom Sprite, Tom Spike proposal. Okay. Go to Engineering Bay Four. Dr. Vogel has put in a request for more personnel. It seems there was an accident. Not to change the subject, but are we concerned about the potential? Okay. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Find the intercom again. Are you here? Goggles almost unloaded. We'll be departing shortly. But I'm your cargo. You are, and I've delivered you just as the Gardo asked. <laughs> that being said, I can stay in orbit for a short while. I'll need to send word to Delgado anyway, if you don't get off that station. But it looks like you'll need to find your own way off the ship. What? That doesn't mean you're trapped. On a station this big, there are bound to be other vessels you can steal. As a member of the Crimson Fleet, I trust you can handle that. I've made it this far. I can see. I can sneak my way off. Okay, fine. You've made it this far without engaging in combat. I trust you'll have no issues moving further. Uh, it was an honor sure. to work with a true professional. Good luck. If you make it out alive, next time you're at the Nova, I'll buy you a drink. Oh yeah, you know. Okay. That's fair, I guess. I think I have higher security clearance now too, so I can actually get around here. I've heard the team is looking for more test pilots. God. Yes, you have experience flying. Hmm. Intercepting transponder data in the Hoffa system might be promising. Wait, who are you? Why are you in here? Did you not see the sign? I'm with the security team. I need you to hand over the comm spike. The comm spike? But I can't just hand it to you. It's a module for a ship. Oh, exactly. It's attached to a prototype in one of our docking ports. Ah. We're still in the testing phase, running decryptions across a variety of signal types. But the results so far have been very promising. It can even interpolate signal data lost in the retrieval. It really is a wondrous technology. Decryption on that level has vast military applications. No wonder the UC is interested in it. Yes, it's not quite cracking the Enigma code, but it will give us a significant tactical advantage. We'll be able to infer everything from battle plans to meal consumption. Not that we'd care about that sort of thing, uh, outside of the effects of diet on combat readiness. And yes, there are certain kinks to be worked out, missing parts, and the occasional traumatic injury here and there, but it's all part of the adventure. Sounds like it's not entirely ready. Oh, actually, I'd be a good pilot. I love adventure. Yes, it's not the destination, but the journey that matters. <laughs> Particularly when the destination is death. But don't worry. 
We've corrected the problem with the ship's life support systems, and statistical models show a failure rate of less than 2%. In short, I've requested a full squadron of these brave and fearless marines to be transferred to the station. They'll give the prototype a final run, and provided there are minimal casualties, we can present minimal. our findings to mast. Betray, Juan. There's no time. The captain is trying to steal. I need to secure the prototype ship immediately. Whoa. Or, whoa. Actually, I'm one of the new test pilots. Splendid. That was fast. I thought I put in the request this morning. Normally, my requests aren't given this much attention, let alone haste. It seems a tad suspicious. We don't have time for this. I was told this was an emergency. You're right. We do need to hurry if we're going to have this module ready in time. I'm going to auto persuade him. Really? And then maybe all of my pestering has finally paid off. All right, you've convinced me. You're the new test pilot. You'll need a uniform and a terminal password to authorize a flight and get past Natara's cumbersome checkpoints. The uniform you can get in the locker room area, the password you get from me. You'll find the prototype ship at docking bay 8. Use the password to access the flight terminals in the control center. And of course, best of luck. You are doing science a great service by undertaking this sacrifice. <laughs> ah, yes, yes. Find a pilot uniform? All right, let's go grab that. Wait, did I put on the pilot uniform? Oh, here we go. Find a route to bypass. Oh, they're, oh geez, they're on the prowl. Oh, quick. Try following this. Yes, what? Pilot. Why does his uniform look so much cooler than mine? Mission security is paramount. Safety is We don't get to leave the engineering very often, so we do. Almost there. Board the prototype ship. Damn, we're taking a lot of different ships with this side. Uh, Quest line here. Oh, I fell. Pick me back up. Uh oh, something's freaking out. Prototype ship, you are not cleared for takeoff. What's going on over there? I'm on the right line from engineering. All ships, secure the prototype. 
Return to the key. Go, go, go. Oh, God. Oh, no. This thing can't jump that far. How far can it jump? Set course. Everything in the grab jump, go! Holy. All right, now we gotta figure out the rest of the way. Oh, nice. there. like you got a new toy for me i did go on in and give everyone the lowdown we'll take care of things from here okay all right let's equip this thing again all right nothing like the Not smell bad. of that ditch Sharp. okay that was kind of cool Oh, she's at the bar. That's funny that I could have actually just straight up betrayed her there. Need something? Sharks are too scared to take the key. Because right, of nice to know Neva was right about you. It's good to have a promising rookie with the fleet. She's oddly like really laid back. Couldn't have done it without you. I won't deny I helped. Let's hope the compensation reflects that, huh? Anyway. I believe I owe you a drink. It's the last time I'm paying, of course. Because if Dalgado's right about Crix's legacy, you've earned more than your fair share already with that comm spike. <laughs> Crix's legacy is as good as ours. Sounds like you're on board as a true believer. I have to admit, the way things are going, I'm starting to believe myself. Anyway, I've kept you long enough. Now that you've had your drink, and my debt is paid, it's time for you to give Delgado the good news. Certainly. Let's talk about something else. Um, How did the Crimson Scar become the Crimson Fleet? After I busted out of the lock. Alright, let's go, uh, tell Delgado the good news. We'll regret going out there without our suits. We got this thing in the bag. I had the key. A few stocky ships and a couple dozen ex-cons right. at my side. But I needed more. So I sent out the call. It's funny how you can get up here without going up the elevator. Pirates from every corner of the seven systems to show up. And this is how the Crimson Fleet was born. Exactly. All right. Jasmine tells me that you not only brought us the Com Spike, but an entire prototype UC ship. I'm impressed, Rook. Very impressed. Tom Spike was built into the chip into the ship, so I didn't really have a choice. Should have taken the compliment, Rook. Dale doesn't give those out often. Juan gave us the full rundown of your little smash and grab operation. She gave you some really high praise. Said you were a pro. And from what I hear, receiving praise from Juan Dayu is quite an accomplishment. All in all, my job well done. Now, on to the business at hand. Jasmine, are you there? Yep, I'm here, boss. What's up? How's it going? I already have two of my crew tearing the ship apart from one end to the other. Comm spike shouldn't be too tough to extract. I'm looking forward to seeing what those UC techs have been up to. 
Keep me posted. All right. That leaves our electromagnetic atmosphere problem. And I think we've discovered a solution. There's a corporation in the city of Neon called Jennerdyne. They're responsible for the massive conduction grid that powers the city. We get our hands on their electrical absorption tech, and Jasmine swears she can tame it to handle Bannock 4. Okay. I have faith that Jazz can get that tech to work. You damn right she can. My girl can piece together a jump engine with her eyes shut. Literally, I've seen her do it. Lost good money on that bet. All right, let's not get carried away, neighbor. Now, why don't you give us the info on our neon contact? You get to meet up with the lovely Estelle Vincent. She's had her deft little fingers on the pulse of neon for some time now. Whatever info you need, I guarantee she can get. Estelle is one of the most reliable captains we have in the fleet. If I want something done, there's none of the typical bullshit. It gets done, and afterward we all split the cash. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. No, no, no. There is no getting along here. You are going to do everything she asks. Follow her instructions to the letter. She is valuable to the fleet. You piss her off and we lose her as a contact, you're going to be answering to me. Oh boy. Estelle will be waiting at Madame Savage's place. I'd say don't keep her waiting. But chances are she won't mind. Girl loves her liquor. And keep your eyes on the price. Neon's one big distraction for people like us. So I want you focused. We are one step away from Quix's legacy. And we cannot afford any screw-ups. Ooh, the comp like module is now available for any ship. Okay. Huh. So we gotta go back to UC Vigilance and tell them what's up. Great. <laughs> they haven't caught us yet. <laughs> they don't even know. They don't even know. Yeah, we're gonna dock here. We'll save too. Alright. Let's jump. Save again. Heard Archangel flew in some top secret program not to Excuse me. Word is you had to steal classified tech from a I what's the deal? Help the commander knows what to steal. Remember to turn in to any evidence free. fragments you find. It seems you had quite the eventful mission on your hands. You still have the Crimson Fleet's trust, and you were able to spare lives in the process. Uh, infiltrating that station without getting caught was quite tricky. But you did so with an abundance of stealth and restraint. That's exactly what we're looking for in a sysdev operative. Oh boy. Excuse me, sir. I hate to interrupt, but there's still the matter of the comm spike to discuss. Yes, of course, Lieutenant. Time is short and we should get to the matter at hand. Please give me your report. Uh, Delgado has Jasmine Durand working on the comm spike. Then it's just a matter of time before she reverse engineers it to fit the fleet's purposes. 
So what does Delgado have you doing next? Has he solved the Bannock 4 problem? He believes that the... Wait, let's ask the problem. Wait, 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 wait what? Bannock 4 is an EM-class gas giant. Your ship will need special protection to ensure the electromagnetic disturbances in the planet's atmosphere don't fry your circuits. Yes, he believes the grid in the neon is the key. The conduction grid? That's... brilliant. But is it actually possible? It's 80-year-old tech. Sorry, sir. <laughs> the conduction grid is how neon generates its power. It essentially absorbs lightning strikes and converts it to usable energy. It would take a hell of an engineer to modify the technology to handle Bannock 4 ZM field. An engineer. Like Jasmine Durand. That's the case. Inform our contacts on Neon that our operative will be touching down there in the near future. Absolutely, sir. And before you depart, I wanted you to know that your efforts are helping us gain interest among my superiors. They're finally beginning to believe that we can take down the Crimson Fleet and make amends for the UC's embarrassing mistake. What embarrassing mistake? The fact that our common enemy owes its existence to the United Colonies, of course. It was the riot at the lock touched off by Jasper Creeks that inspired him to create the Crimson Fleet in the first place. Thanks to your assistance, we'll be able to rectify that mistake, and Mast will authorize an all-out assault. Oh. Uh, oh damn. I hope that means I'm getting a pay increase. I'll see what I can do. You've certainly gone above and beyond the Call of Duty. All right, I suppose that's all for now. I'll be looking forward to your next report. Good luck. And please, be careful. Yeah, I wonder what would have happened, what would have happened if I went back there. I'm not worried about the fleet taking the comms. I, uh, and caused a bunch of other issues to happen, or <laughs> to go down. But, huh. Stock here. Not bad. Oh, we are right. Damn. Wait, that's actually kind of sick. Yeah, this thing is pretty sick, too. Um. Let me actually get up here. Where's my squad? They're not showing up. They're going. Where are they? Yeah, I haven't seen Vasco either. Wait, are they not assigned to the ship? Maybe they're not assigned to the ship because we switched so many times. Oh yeah, that's what it is. They got unassigned because we switched too many times. Huh. Um, well, chat, I'm actually going to take a, a little bit of a break here. Um, I'm going to go have like some lunch and stuff. And then I think we're going to come back and I'm going to play some, uh, the crew motor fest for a bit, maybe for like just two hours. Uh, cause I don't know. I'm, I'm in a mood right now to, to do a little bit of racing. So we'll check that out for like two hours and then we'll either come back to this or go into Baldur's Gate for a bit. Um, so I'm going to try to make this short. I'm literally just going to end stream, go eat something, schedule a new stream and get started. So I should be back hopefully like within 30 minutes or so. Maybe we'll shoot for like 1 p.m. or 1.15 uh, and then we'll, we'll come back. So I'll be back in a little bit. Thank you all for watching as always and uh, see you in a little.